Low libido, no longer an issue just for older women. New research from the International Society for the Study of Women's Sexual Health says many of today's young women feel guilty and stressed about their sex lives. Now, another study published in Obstetrics and Gynecology magazine found that, listen to this, one out of every 10 women between the ages of 18 and 44 experiences low libido. Joining us to discuss what can be done about it, therapist Dr. Jen Berman, host of Cosmo's Love and Sex Doctor on Sirius X. XM Radio. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right. I hear the number one in ten connected with low libido. That sounds like a high number for young women. I actually would say it's probably on the low side. I've read some studies really? that have said as many as 30% of women are experiencing this. And what's important is that women know to rule out with their doctor any kind of medical symptom mm -hmm. that they're having because lower libido can be a sign of something else. So work with your doctor well, to address the issue. Let's get to that. What is causing this then if you say it's between 10 and 30%? Well, there's so many different factors. There's the physiological and there's the emotional. And right now, we're in a tough economy. We're under a lot more stress. People are having more conflicts in their relationship. So there is more depression. Depression is a libido killer. And then not to mention that antidepressants can also kill a libido. Mm -hmm. Today, a lot of people stressed out, the economy, their jobs, many of them overworked. How do you know that it's a problem with low libido? Are you are just tired and stressed and maybe a little depressed? Well, you want to look at the trend. If, if there's a sudden decrease in your sex life, a sudden decrease in your libido, you want to take a look and say, what's going on? Is this emotional? Is it physiological? Could it be a symptom of something else? And once again, you always want to work with your doctor. Always rule out the physiological before you assume the emotion. Another study says birth control may be a factor. Is that true? Absolutely it is. And so many women are coming into my office complaining about lowered libido. And then when I send them back to their gynecologist, we're finding that it's actually their birth control pills. And the other thing that's so important for women to know is work with your doctor. Just because you're having symptoms with one birth control pill that's lowering your libido, it doesn't mean that another birth control is going to have the same effect. Women don't have to choose between a libido or birth control. Well, I wanted to ask you, what is it in the birth control that maybe you need to ask your doctor about that you need to either increase or lower the dosage of? Well, what you want to do is you want to tell your doctor what your symptoms are because there are various different kinds of birth control pills with such a range in hormones and you really want your doctor to be making that decision for you. All right. All right, so let's get to the big part of this. How do you increase a person's libido if they are suffering from this? Well, if it's and not this your is a family show, so yes, let's not I'll, get too graphic. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it rated G. Okay. If it's not your antidepressants and it's not your birth control pills, then you want to look at lifestyle. You mm -hmm. want to have a healthy life. You want to obviously reduce stress wherever you can. You want to, if you're a smoker, stop smoking. You want to exercise to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are having a well-rounded, healthy life, and also address any kind of mental health issues. Uh, eating disorders, depression, anxiety, body image issues all affect libido. Quickly, female Viagra perhaps? Well, there's a lot of talk about it, and there's some off-label use of female Viagra. Gotcha. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you so much for your time today. We do appreciate it. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.